So I'd really like to give a warm welcome to the stage, Peruvian Minister of the Environment, Dr. Lucia Delfina Ruiz Ostoic. Hola. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for, for being here. It's a week of emotion for me. It's a very emotional week. I was here seeing all this initiative this time. Uh, I want this to be a word that can be the gratitude and admiration that this initiative gave us, uh, who today have the responsibility of being authorities, public servants, above all. I want this to be a word that inspires us not only to recognize these initiatives, but to do everything possible from the point in which we are to scale the map. So these successful lessons can be replicated and just help to better and better protect our forests, our ecosystems, our biodiversity. I know some of the initiatives that were awarded in previous year and I have seen the level of conviction with which this conservation initiative for the forests are implemented. Uh, because they are their forest, their home. I'm glad to tell you today that those initiatives that were awarded here years ago still persist, are still in the struggle. And perhaps it could suggest that the key to their persistence is that they were conceived from the local communities themselves. They were no initiative imposed from outside. And perhaps the other key is the understanding that was, is, trained, is what is vital for this community. Their pharmacies, where they get their medicinal plants, their markets, where they get their fruit and food, their stores, where they get the material for their homes. That is their life and the life of their children. Because in the experience with the community, the reason that move them are not the reason that usually move us. We that live in cities, maybe success, work, something like that. The reason that move, they are much deeper. Their children, their future. And therefore it was, if we look deep inside of us, we can understand that. We can understand each other with, there is a room to always be optimistic. Then I would, I would say that the challenge to which this award should lead us is how to scale up these initiatives, how to support them more. What can we do so that these sustainability products, good, some call, such as coffee, cocoa, no timber products, or material, uh, medicinal plant, tourism initiative, can improve the quality of life or more communities? What can the state do? What can we do as consumers? Uh, what can we do as communicators, as opinion leaders? How can we take advantage of the position in which we are today to further boost this initiative. Not with the words, but of course it's great, but with action that guarantee their environmental and social and economic sustainability. Uh, what can researchers, entrepreneurs, students do? And how do we ensure that not productive initiatives such as defense of rights, water, territories, ecosystems, restoration actions, action in favor of gender equity, etc., have sustainability in time. Certainly, there are no unique answers. Uh, and they're not going to come from isolated itself. But we have to build them together. And that is important of this event. It's not only the recognition of those who deserve it, but also an opportunity to build networks, what is now called networking capital. How do we encase this? How do we not let it be in an adduct or a few minutes, a few days dialogue, but rather we make it more systematic? 
How do we all became, become a network that allow us to sustain this initiative and articulate them? So they can access more opportunity, more research, support, more markets, with greater environmental awareness. How, in short, do we take this globalization seriously and for good? I hope that this challenges that I'm now putting on myself and ourselves are received as an opportunity, an opportunity to jump to the next level, a room for, for improvement and to take the maximum advantage to this unique opportunity. The Equatorial Initiative gives us by joining leaders and innovators from all over the world with authorities who must be leaders too. And we will be leaders only if our permanent attitude is a learning vocation. And we will to learn from these innovative and remarkable initiatives. So when we will be back to our daily work as entrepreneurs, consumers, public servants, researchers, or simple citizens, we will at least start generating and boosting the required changes through the public policies we push, or our commercial strategies, our research priorities, or our lifestyles. For this opportunity, thanks to all, to UNDP for keeping for many years these initiatives, to the local community that honor us sharing their experience, to all of us by committing publicly to be better citizens of our planet every day. Thank to you for this opportunity to me. Thank you.